obviously on the on Friday night we were two 0 up, uh, you know, in control of the game, and Basuma gets himself sent off. Um, yet again, another scenario this season where it's not it's not just with cards, but it just seems to be. It's happened um, quite often now this season where we've been in control of games and then we do something stupid to put that result in jeopardy. Now, luckily, on Friday, it didn't um, go against us, but on other games, it has gone against us. So, But I'll go with that to Ashmatic first. Do you think this squad or team at the moment has a discipline problem? Is there a problem or, or a concentration problem, should I say, at the moment? Because it's now becoming a bit of a pattern, not just with certain players, but... It's becoming a pattern where Tottenham are playing well in control of games and then they just do something stupid to put that result in jeopardy, whether it be a bad mistake on the pitch or a red card or a stupid challenge. Um, is, it, is, is it a pattern you're seeing or do you think it's nothing to be concerned about at this point? I think it's a style of play, to be fair. I think with Ange, he wants the players to play on the front foot and especially the uh, defensive players. He doesn't want them to pull out of 50-50s. Before, Spurs have been looked at as soft on the belly, you know, soft touch. And now all of a sudden, you know, we're going at teams, we're being a lot more aggressive and we're trying to win those challenges and we're trying to ask the opposition questions. So if we had pulled out a 50-50 challenge and then all of a sudden it leads to a goal, then what? Then we look soft all of a sudden. And so I looked at the table as well in terms of how many teams have been fouled the most and Spurs are at the top. We've actually been fouled the most out of all the Premier League teams so that goes to show me are we do we have a discipline problem or is it that the fact the style of play that we play and we're getting fouled quite a bit do you know what i mean because there's been a lot of challenges that have been on notice from certain um referees i don't want to go down like blame the referees don't want to do that but i'm just saying the style of play it is what it is like in terms of bookings we are like the third highest i believe or, or joint third highest in terms of yellow cards and I think when it comes to red cards, we're, we're in the top five as well. But we're four reds. I don't know if anyone has more than that, do they? Oh, yeah. Well, this is why I said I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't remember if anyone had it more or less. So I, I didn't want to quote that one. But I knew in the yellows, like we, we were there, there out. But going back to my point, I just think because we are a lot, we're, we're not. We're playing a lot more aggressive, and I think it's. The players, they need to acclimatise to the style as well. There's a lot of young players that are getting bookings. And some of the bookings we are picking up, some of them are descent. They're not all like challenges. So you've got to take that into context as well. Um, some challenges could be avoided. I think there's times where, like you've mentioned Basuma, he might put it through someone's legs, but then he might lose the ball in the second phase of play. And then he's got to foul that man because if he doesn't foul him and pick up that booking, then that might result in a goal. And then I look at the players behind Basuma, when you've got someone like um, Ben Davies, who has been doing well, to be fair to him, but he hasn't got the pace of Mickey van der Ven. I don't know if Basuma trusts him the same way he trusts Mickey van der Ven to try a thing. Because Ange is like, look, make the mistake. If you make the mistake, it's on me. It's not on you. But at the same time, if Basuma is trying to take that player on and trying to be front-footed and be more brave and more aggressive, and that's what Ange is, like wants the players to do, then maybe he's thinking, oh, if I lose it here, we could end up losing the game. Do you know what I mean? And so I've seen Basuma do less take-ons than he did when he first broke onto the scene this season in the first 10 games. So you compare it to the last five or six games where people have been like, oh, Basuma's not being the same. I'm thinking that might be something to do with it. Do you know what I mean? So mm. that's the reason why I'm thinking maybe, like in terms of your doggy, your doggy's always on the half turn. Your doggy's always pushing forward. He's always trying to make things happen. But again, like apart from maybe the Chelsea game, I said the Chelsea game, I thought, oh, geez, that was needless. Like the two yellow cards there. I wouldn't say your doggy's got a disciplinary um, problem. Do you know what I mean? I know obviously Romero, before when he was partnered with Mickey van der Ven, up until then, he, he had like hardly any yellow cards. Do you know what I'm saying? That first 10 games, mm -hmm. it was hardly any yellow cards for him or Mickey van der Ven, or even fouls. I think in the first six games, I think they committed like one foul between the two of them, which was incredible. So it it's, it's a, it depends on um, who's playing alongside who. And sometimes like the referee. So I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it depends on the ref. I'll be real. But um, that's how I see it, man. I don't necessarily think that Tottenham are a dirty team and we need to change things. I just think the players are just adjusting to the style. And then, you know, 
along the lines, they will pattern up. They will. They'll mm. get it right as the season goes yeah. on. You say it depends on the ref. I'd also say it depends on the VAR as well because, you know, there are challenges that I've seen that have been fairly similar to Romero's one against Chelsea, which haven't been called up by the VAR yet. The VAR went back to Romero's one and gave him a red. Um, going to you, Stel, what do you think Ange would be thinking about the current situation when, in terms of disciplinary record? Like, is he, would you reckon he would see it as a concern and something that really needs to be addressed or would he see it as a consequence of how we play? I, I don't think there's a disciplinary issue. <clears throat> I think this is just a short-termism outlook by a lot of fans to just <clears throat> have a talking point. I, I heard something similar a while back. Ange is naive. No, he's not. He's proven he's not. And now it's Spurs have got a disciplinary problem. No, we don't. I, th there's a number of factors at play. The, the, the first one is if you go back to the vintage Premier League days when Arsenal Man United used to go at it. Those games were explosive. Mm -hmm. And Spurs are basically a team of that kind of era, but in the modern game where we're not having it from anyone. If, if, if it's going to be a battle, we're going to battle. And that's why no team this season, not one team has battered Tottenham. Other than Chelsea, when we were down to nine men. But when we've had 11 or 10 men on the pitch, nobody's battered Tottenham. And it's because mm -hmm. we play with that aggression, like um, Asher has said. Mourinho famously said, we need to be a bunch of you-know-what. Well, you know what? We're kind of being that now. And that we've got fight. We've got, we've got a bit of Sparta in us at the moment. And I like mm -hmm. that about Tottenham. I don't want us to be pushovers. Um, the, the other thing as well that I think has come into play is we... we I think are slightly being targeted here. And I'm not trying to justify our red cards as, oh, it's only because we are being targeted. But I do think Spurs are being targeted, especially Romero. I watched the Chelsea-Newcastle game last night. Guimarez has literally gone right through a Chelsea player. That's not a red card. If that was Romero, they'd be calling for his head. <laughs> then Mudrik goes and strangles um, Guimarez. If that was Romero... They'd want him suspended from football for life. In after a couple of minutes in the game, Casado goes clattering into a challenge. If that's Romero or Bissouma, people are saying rash, out of control, send him off. But those players don't get those red cards, and I think we've been a bit unlucky. Um, the yellow card that Bissouma picked up against Wolves. If you look at all the tackles in those in that game that went um, without a yellow or a red, how's Bissouma been given the yellow? And then I look at the Adoji yellow card against Nottingham Forest. It's not a yellow card. This is, it, and, you, and you think of the challenge that went on Oliver Skip, nothing. And I just feel that, look, it swings in roundabouts. You win some, you lose some. We, we got the rub of the green against Liverpool. So I'm not complaining about it. I want to make that clear. I'm not complaining about it. But I don't think there's a disciplinary problem at Tottenham. I think we're an aggressive side. We're not going to get battered because we've got that aggression and that fight. We've been a bit unlucky with some decisions. Some things we deserve, without a question of a doubt, we deserve some of the red cards. But I think we've also been very unlucky with it as well. I, I don't think there's an issue, guys. Um, and, mm. and you know what? This will eventually go away as the season goes on. So that's kind of my perspective on it. Just uh, on a side note as well to what you were saying on our Tottenham being targeted, I read a stat that says apparently 42% of uh, Romero's fouls have ended up on, in cards. Which is quite an astonishing stat um, to think to think about. Forty-two percent. That's quite. That's very high. Like nearly fifty percent of his fouls gets a card, whereas thirteen percent of Saliba of Saliba's fouls ends up in cards. Maybe you would argue he his uh his fouls are not as dirty as Romero's, but I do think that's um. <clears throat> Sorry, I do think that's quite an interesting stat. But going back on what I'm, um the question, uh, Stel, maybe a discipline problem is the wrong question, but. Is there a potentially a concentration problem or a problem with us making things difficult for ourselves? Because there does seem to be a pattern of Tottenham playing well, getting ahead, and then once we're in control, doing something, doing something, whether it be a red card or whether it be like a stupid mistake on the pitch that gives a goal away, that allows the opposition back into the game. Is there is there a pattern you you that you can see on that front? Just kind of shooting ourselves in the foot a bit sometimes. I think there's a lack of intelligence so um 
go back to last season. Do you remember Emerson Royale's foul uh, against Arsenal where he got a red card? Yeah. Where he made that challenge. Okay. Did you need to make that kind of a challenge in that position on the field? No, you didn't. Where, where, where's, where's your game intelligence? Basuma has gone into a tackle against Nottingham Forest. Uh, he's missed the timing of the bounce of the ball and he's caught the player. Now, did you need to go into that tackle in your head knowing that if the player wins the ball and potentially goes past you, the team might be in trouble? Why can't you just pull his shirt and pull him back and take the yellow? Take a yellow mm -hmm. card, just pull his shirt. But we seem to make these poor decisions and I think it's linked to just, just a lack of intelligence in, in the heat of the moment. So I would say that that is more the case. We're, we're just lacking Euros when uh, Kalini pulled back Saka by, by, by the uh, shirt collar and everyone said, that's a disgrace. What's he doing? Well, he was very, very intelligent. I'll take the yellow card because they're not going to give me a red for that. It looks bad, but it's a yellow card. That's an intelligent piece of, let's call it dark arts. We're, we're, we're not being intelligent when we are committing to these situations. And I think that's what maybe Ange needs to have a discussion with the players about. Just can we be smarter when we are going to take one for the team rather than just putting us into deep trouble by picking up red cards? Yeah, um, exactly. No, no, I completely agree with that. I think maybe a bit of game intelligence, a bit of game management. I think that may look, and you, I, I completely agree with you, Stel. We're very uh, young, you know, in the project. We're still a very young side, and just still, you know, basically, we're we're at the very start of of this project. So, not it's not going to be hundred percent perfect within a few months. So, there's going to be teething problems. But I definitely think at the moment. We're we're very much controlling games. We're playing good football, and we look, I'm loving the football we're playing, creating chances. I think by and large, we're actually defending quite well as well in most games. But I definitely do see a tendency that when we're in control and we see the result in sight, to to basically uh, lose lose our heads a bit, or, or kind of lose concentration, or lack a bit that a bit of gauge management management just to make sure like don't do anything stupid, don't make a mistake, don't. Um, overcommit yourself. Don't you know? Do a bad ta challenge, I presume, because it, it's it's happened multiple times now this season, uh, where we've um, been having a good a good game, and we're on top, and then just we do something stupid, and then all of a sudden we put the result in doubt. But not not every time has the result gone against us, um, thankfully. And uh, we know, look, we are in an absolutely brilliant position. If I would have told you. Um, you know, comes the seventeenth game of the season, would be six points behind top of the table with the potential to cut that gap on the weekend. I mean, I, I think we all would have taken that, wouldn't we? Um, so we're in a brilliant position. I don't think we can have too much to complain about as a uh, as Tottenham fans for sure with how the season has gone so far. Um, even though you know, off the back of those five games where we went ahead and and, and didn't win. You know, it definitely didn't feel like that. 